So today's video, my goal is to do two different things. We're gonna be looking at tomorrow's trends while also looking for them in yesterday's it bags. And I kind of want to take this as a, as a chance to kind of forecast the older it bags or forgotten bags of yesteryear that we're going to be seeing make a resurgence and probably pick up again in popularity and value. So this is a helpful hint. If you like these, buy them now because these are bags by this time next year, I could absolutely see fully taking off again and those prices skyrocketing. And with my list, we're going to break this up into seven different categories of trends that we're going to be seeing as we head into spring, summer, 2025. And that's going to be big shoppers. We're going to be seeing like these big oversized shopping totes. Big bags are going to be making a comeback in a big way. Finally, I know we've been saying it for years, but I think it's finally going to happen. 2025 is the year. We're going to be looking for things that are embellished. We're going to be looking for fringe. East West is going to play a big part again as we head into spring 2025. The color green is going to be a big deal. Anything with a print, whether it looks like it might clash or not, that's going to be a big deal. And of course, suede is going to reign supreme through spring, summer 2024. Well, more so in spring because he wants a big suede bag in summer. Let's dive in first with the first category, big shoppers. Now the bag I picked to kick off this category is the Louis Vuitton Monogram Mahina Hobo. Now listen guys, this bag, she's stunning, she's gorgeous, she's large and in charge. And this bag, guys, was such a big deal among the Louis Vuitton lover community, again, like 10, almost 15 years ago. Gosh, I feel old. This bag, though, was just stunning. And I, I really think as 2025 approaches, we're going to see a big resurgence in all things Marc Jacobs, Louis Vuitton. Now, Louis Vuitton hasn't really had a huge hit in the last few years. I, I think, honestly, the last one that comes to mind is the Cousin bag. Since then, like, it's, it's kind of stalled out. And I think that we, as Louis Vuitton shoppers, we're going to be looking back to yesteryear. We're going to be looking at that peak pinnacle era where Marc Jacobs was in charge. And I've picked quite a few Marc Jacobs era Louis Vuitton bags for this list today and this Mahina does not disappoint. Now this is made from a beautiful soft suppled lightly pebbled grain leather. You have the little perforations making the Louis Vuitton monogram. It has two closures. You have one that goes across the top of the bag with like a dog leash clip and then you have the koala closure on the front. She's big. She comes in several different sizes you guys. Now this one this just happens to be I think the extra large which is currently marked at 880 and yes I know I'm brave. I picked a light colored bag. This is almost white but she's almost flawless. Like I, I looked over these photos and I couldn't see anything wrong with her. So I'm like, this is the one. Quite frankly, like I'm kind of living in my big shopper era. I could see I could see this one coming back in a big way. So Louis Vuitton Mahina, buy them up now before they skyrocket because trust me, they will. Sticking with big shopper totes, I recently fell in love with the Givenchy Saka bag. If you want, I can do a whole review on this later. I'd probably like stick it into a vlog or something. But guys, this bag, it is big, it is squishy, it is ridiculous. Mine's done in a patent leather with black leather trim. Just a huge open tote. You have a divider down the center, but I mean, it's not like one of those small structured bags, so it doesn't really matter. It's actually very helpful. Lots of slip pockets on the interior, zipper pockets. And the one that I picked out for you over here, beautiful metallic gold foil leather. It's priced at only $308. Let that sink in. So check out the Givenchy Saka because much like the boogie, the Celine boogie that we saw earlier this year, I could see there being a little rush on these. So buy them up now while they're still very inexpensive. And I mean, $308 for Givenchy goodness. You literally can't beat that. That is absolutely fabulous. Now, another bag that I think is overdue for a return, uh, if you will, like a comeback, a resurgence, even a re-edition, if you will, is the Fendi Spy Bag. And I've kind of lumped this into the big shoppers. The Fendi Spy Bag, like she's fabulous. She's she's unique. It's interesting. You can find them in all sorts of different patterns, exotic leathers, Zucca print, wh whatever your heart desires, you can find on the Fendi Spy Bag. And this one that I found, it's just like in a really cool kind of rustic leather. Again, we're at that like $300 price point. This one's $328 right now. And that little braided tag on the front that actually hides your lipstick or your Hermes chapstick, if you will. These are just so cool. And I'm surprised with like, you know, like all the Prada re-editions, that Dior saddlebag that came back out, the Fendi baguette. Where's the love for the Fendi spy bag? Like this had a chokehold on all of all of fashion lovers throughout the early 2000s. I think it's time that we we dust off our, our Fendi spy bags and and or purchase one, if you will. I don't think you're going to see be seeing a lot of Fendi spy bags out on the streets anytime soon. Well, maybe it could take off. Like I said, these are the it bags of yesterday with today's trends. So I could see as we move into like these these big ludicrous shopper totes that, that the Fendi spy bag would probably make a resurgence as well. Now, before we kick off the next section, hey guys, my name is Caleb. I post luxury and lifestyle related content three times a week. So if that's something you're into, hit the subscribe button down below. Consider joining the membership for extra perks, more access, you name it. And let's kick off this next section. And I've got some really good stuff picked for you. I cannot wait to show you. Now, this next section I've titled embellishment. And I think that this 
is going to be a trend that we're going to see because we're going to be moving away from the whole quiet luxury that we've been having for like the last year or so, or at least since Gwyneth Paltrow had her ski accident, that's kind of what kicked this all off. We're going to be looking at bags that have a little bit more detail to them, a little bit more studs, you know, some more interest. As you know, we've all been adding our bag charms to our more plain bags, so I think that this is going to be just one more step in that direction back towards embellishment, loud, over the top, in your face, dare I say a little tacky. And keeping in mind Louis Vuitton, Marc Jacobs era goodness, what else describes over the top luxury and in your face than the Suhali collection. Now, this is my Suhali bag. This is the Lingenue GM in the black colorway. Gold hardware, all these gorgeous studs. You have these big zipper poles. It's actually like shining light all over the studio. I don't know if you guys can see it. The one that I think is most likely to come back into style from the, the Suhali collection is the Lufebleau. And this bag, you guys, it's stunning. It's going to fall into a couple of different categories. You're gonna hit embellishment. You're also going to hit east-west. And it, it's just a beautiful, over-the-top, luxurious bag. You've got the little brass corner protectors, much like the trunks did. These Suhali bags, you guys, these are made from goat skin from goats found in the West Indies. And it is like the most glorious shove leather that I have ever, ever felt. They weigh a ton. They do. Actually, mine probably weighs more because I have this big fish mouth bracket over the top. If you can get your hands on a Suhali, do it now because stuff like this is only going to be coming back more into fashion or going up in prices. So snap these up while you can. And the Lou Fablo, this is the perfect example. This one's actually an amazing shape. Priced at only $11.20 right now. So put it in cart, please. Everything's linked down below. Don't miss out on these because these are going to be popping off again. I can promise you that. Another it bag that I could see having a resurgence, especially as we're again talking about East West. This one, it's more of a special edition, so it does fall under the embellishment. Loewe. Loewe's been known for their puzzle, their hammock, their, their flamenco, but everyone seems to forget their major it bag from the 2000s, the Amazona. This one that I found, this is done in denim. So you're gonna be falling into that whole denim craze, which always kind of pops back up in spring and summer. But you guys, the beadwork on this bag is next level. It is stunning. It is gorgeous. You have that stunning light tan leather, the, the denim, that starburst on the front with all the beads. Guys, this one is, it's gorgeous. Like, listen, if, if I was in the market for a new handbag right now, I would probably snap this one up. Right now it's at 785 and you've got a gorgeous Loewe it bag from yesterday with tomorrow's trends. If you haven't yet, buy into the Amazona because I'm seeing this more and more on, on social media. People are dusting them off, pulling them out of their closets, unboxing them again, the vintage ones. So I could see this bag by this time next year really taking off and it's a vibe 100 i promise next up let's kick it off with one of my favorite trends fringe listen i am i am fully into this whole fringe trend that we're going to be seeing for 2025 we saw a lot of amazing pieces on the runway but looking back to the yesterday it bags the one that comes to mind the most the most is the louis vuitton murakami from that multicolor collection with the fringe they had a speedy they had the bucket bag and i found you the perfect Perfect bucket bag. So this has the Noir multicolor leather. The Viquetta, I think she has a couple of spots, but overall for Viquetta this old, she's still gorgeous. There are some missing beads, so you'd have to send this off for repair, but this one actually still includes its little pochette that drops into the inside of the bag. Now the bucket bag historically came with an extra pochette for kind of more organization, if you will, inside of that big open space. Now bucket bags were big for 2024, so again, I would think that that trend would carry over to 2025 as well. And this one's priced pretty well, 2800 they also had a white version with better vaquetta, but it was missing its pochette. So I thought this would be the better option of the two. Of course, I'll, I'll link both down below. Call me Dream Maker. I will answer. But these are stunning bags. And I also, I've always wanted the speedy version of this. I just think it's so ridiculous and over the top. So it girl of 2004, right? Now, again, with the Murakami collab coming in 2025, snap up these Marc Jacobs Murakami era pieces because they're going to skyrocket. They're going to skyrocket when this, when this new collection comes out, which I am so excited for. <sighs> Friends. I, the more I'm looking at it, the more I want it for myself right now. I absolutely love the fringe. Now this next one, this isn't necessarily an it bag of yesterday, but it is an older bag, if you will. And I think that it's going to lean really well into this whole kind of utilitarian trend, the fringe trend, if you will. I love this bag. Now this is just the Prada Napa Leather Tote. They've never really named their bags often, um, especially with these more kind of mainstream bags from the house. But you've got the top handle here. You have all that glorious fringe. It looks like um, like a big dog, kind of, with all this fringe on it. You've got the shoulder or the crossbody strap. Overall, she's super cute, priced at $468.75. You're going to be fully into that, that fringe trend. This lighter shade is going to be perfect for spring going into summer. And it's a Prada bag. Like, what could go wrong? It's, it's fabulous. Think back earlier this year, like late spring, I think early summer, I told you about a former it bag that I thought would come 
come back into style. It kind of did. So ever since, you know, we all started buying them up, the resale market has slowly gone up, but it is still such a fabulous bag. I own three of them. And if you would have guessed the Celine Boogie, you're absolutely correct. So to kick off the East West trend, Let's revisit the Celine Boogie, but not just any Celine Boogie. No, no, no. Let's do a special and talk about the Celine Boogie Nights. Now, this is going to be clutch for several reasons. First of all, you're going to have that East West trend. This is also going to fall into the embellishment with all of these studs and rivets across the bag, and it's going to be in suede. So, the one that I found for you guys is in this gorgeous kind of almost like an orange sherbet color. So, it's going to be really good for those spring florals heading into summer. It's a shorter suede, so it doesn't feel hot, if that makes sense. I actually carried mine in like the peak of summer this summer. Summer with a with a gorgeous outfit and I, I wasn't too bothered by carrying a suede bag. Now don't be afraid of suede. I'm going to be dropping a suede how to care for. Now don't be afraid of suede because soon in a couple of weeks I'll be dropping a whole how to care for suede video especially now that it's kind of gaining popularity. People are going to want to know how to care for their suede so I will show you that's coming out. Keep in mind these Celine Boogies are only going to continue to rise in price and I wouldn't be surprised with all this upheaval in the in the fashion market that maybe Celine could could do a, a reissue on this. Now, the one that I'm showing you over here on the side, it doesn't do it justice, but on the zipper pull, it has each of the little rivets that spell out Celine, which is absolutely fabulous. The interior is also lined in suede. It is just a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. There's a reason I have three of these. I absolutely love the Celine Boogie, and I think you will too if you haven't bought one yet. Make the change. Buy one today. They're just going to continue to go up in popularity. I can promise you that. <laughs> Now, also sticking to the east-west trend, let's look at a little bit of Hermes. As you all know, I'm a huge Hermes lover. This list would be remiss if we didn't visit, it's a lot of S's, a former not really so much an it bag, but a discontinued bag, if you will. Now, this one is the Hermes Victoria 2 Elan 20, oh God, 38 centimeters. So she's big, 38 centimeters long. But what I love about this, the shoulder straps are going to be smooth and flat. So they're going to sit comfortably on your shoulder. It's not like a rolled shoulder. And it's also going to be more of a thin bag. More often than not, the Elan versions from Hermes are a little bit thinned out. And this is going to be like the perfect throw and go bag. You've got the zipper opening. So it's a little bit more secure than like, say, a shoulder Birkin or a shoulder Kelly, just because it's not going to be flapping open in the wind. This one, I love the lock mechanism. It just kind of stays closed up there at the top. You just flip the zippers on top of it, put your lock on there. Absolutely fabulous. This one is in stunning condition and honestly, Clemence leather, absolutely fabulous squishy leather, palladium hardware, and it's in this gorgeous, shocking purple color. This one, I don't think is going to be on their website long. It's priced at 2610, so it is by far the most expensive bag on this list today. And with a purple or a warm shade like this, this is also going to look stunning in the fall. So you're going to get a lot of use out of this bag, especially throughout the summer literally throw your water bottle in hit the streets go to a flea market you've got space for for your fines and things this is going to be a really good bag a really good way to celebrate the east west trend anyway now before we kick off this next section guys let me know down in the comments what are your predictions for it bags that we're going to be seeing a resurgence for 2025. I'm curious to see what, what you think are, is going to be hot for 2025. Another trend to consider for spring summer 2025 is going to be the color green. Now listen, we've been living in our neutrals all through 2024, especially when it came to the gorgeous Bordeaux burgundy colorway, which was huge for Gucci. That was like their new color for the Gucci Ancora. Now this next bag, this one wasn't so much of an it bag because it didn't have a long time on the shelves. Now this was debuted for Fendi in 2016 to celebrate the arrival of their online e-commerce store, Fendi.com. Now when it was first introduced, this bag could only be purchased online. This was an online exclusive. And then as you know, time went on up until 2018 anyway, you could actually just pop into a store, pick one up. Super fabulous bag. It is not talked about enough. I have one. I know of a couple of other people here on YouTube that have one. This is the Fendi.com. And this came in two sizes. You had the .com, which I have here, and then you had the .com click, which was a little bit smaller and came with a chain shoulder strap. Now this one is supposed to have a matching snake skin shoulder strap back here on the back, but if you need the, the background or the history of where the strap went, go and check out that unboxing. I'll have it linked down below. The .com is going to be a little bit more updated take on the peekaboo. You have the two compartments, one in the front, one in the back, which are closed by these zippers. You have the single handle up here on the top, and overall just very minimal kind of like Fendi-esque design. Like you take one look at this bag, you might not know it's Fendi, but you'll see that it's Fendi. Does that make sense? Now, what I love about this bag, you also have the feet on the bottom and this little pyramidal peg here actually 
pulls out with a pouch. So you get a clutch with the bag, you get handheld, you get shoulder if you have a strap on like I do. And the one that I picked out for you guys is absolutely fabulous. Now this one is a dark green color. It has this frill across the top. And what I love most about the strap, it kind of has like a zigzag to it. So for this bag, you're gonna be hitting a lot of different trends. First of all, you're gonna hit the green trend. You're gonna get that embellished trend. We're gonna be seeing a lot of over the top bags coming up for 2025 as we move away from this quiet luxury, less is more minimalist aesthetic. I think that this would be a really good example. And if you're in the market for Affinity.com and you don't necessarily love the one that I'm showing you, make sure that it still has the pouch and the strap. I'm seeing a lot on the resale market that don't have the pouch on the inside and not having the pouch on the inside means that you just have this open hole and no little peg here that sticks out. Kind of kills the vibe, not gonna lie. So double check for both of those things. And what I love about this bag, and I talk about it every single time, the handle is on a spring mechanism to help hold it flat once it's not in use. I love my .com, I just need to carry it more. This is one of my favorite, favorite Fendi bags I have. Now also sticking to the green aesthetic and a true it bag that I could see making a comeback is the Celine luggage bag. Now listen, this one has several shades of green. It has suede, so you're gonna be hitting those two those two themes, if you will, the two trends for 2025, suede and green. The, the Celine luggage had such a chokehold on all of us for the longest time. It's very like 20, what was it, 2012, 2014 when this came out, like early 2010s. I could see this kind of, you know, becoming popular again. Now, my husband hates it, so I never had one, but I know a lot of you did and still do. So dust off those Celine luggages. These are gonna be coming back, I think in a big way. With these, you had exotics, you had the phantom size, so you had like that bigger shopper bag, which is gonna be a big trend for 2025. You had several different finishes, materials. These were truly super luxe bags, and right now you can get them for a pretty good deal. The one I'm showing you over here is priced at only 11 1100. So that's a far cry from its original MSRP, if you will. Snap these up. These are these are going to be one of those those sleeper hits. They're going to come back in a big way in the next year or two. So get on the trend now. Beat everybody to the punch. Buy them while they're cheap or cheaper, I guess. Now, next up, I want to talk about all over print, printed bags. These are going to be bags that in theory might clash with your outfits, but because they're so over the top and in your face, they're going to work with just about everything. For this bag, this isn't necessarily a forgotten it bag. Listen, we all know about this bag. We probably, again, much like the rest of these, either owned one at some point or have been interested in it at another. But this Gucci bamboo top handle, in the Gucci blooms. Now that is 100% a vibe. I fell hard for the Gucci blooms. What was this, 2016, 2018? These were absolutely stunning. Now this would come in either like a red hydrangea, red peak and cream, or the blue hydrangea, which yes, I had the iPhone 6 Plus phone case for. It's still out at my desk, by the way. The Gucci blooms just was such a stunning collection. I really wanted one of the totes from that collection, but never picked one up and I'm still kicking myself. They had special branded packaging for it, special bags, boxes, like you name it, Gucci Blooms was everywhere that year. So I could see, again, this is going to be leaning into quite a few trends. You're going to have the interesting architectural elements of the bamboo top handle. You're going to be leaning into that kind of red colorway, which will, of course, carry over into 2025. It has been such a big color for 2024. It only makes sense we're going to be seeing it again next year. You have that beautiful embellishment of the Gucci Blooms, which is going to be, listen, perfect for spring, summer. Hello. And right now it's priced a little high, 2600 But when it comes to Gucci Blooms, you can find like the the whole gambit is available from super good pricing up to higher pricing. You just have to search a little bit. They are out there. So check them out. Gucci Blooms. If this was in blue, I'd be very tempted. I loved that blue with the Gucci web. Stunning, stunning, stunning collection. I, I, I lived for it. I still do. Now this next collection saw a resurgence when we were all excited about Y2K and it's kind of slowed down a little bit. Like I'm looking at some pieces right now for myself. I'm very tempted. But with Murakami, at Louis Vuitton coming back out, these are only gonna skyrocket again. Like these are gonna be out of control, over the top. Obviously it is the Multicolor. Now with Multicolor, you have the most popular bag that I have here, the Speedy 30. Now I love mine, it's in the Noir. Now it's actually in the same colorway with the pinks and greens as my Marilyn back here. Multicolor will always have a special place in my heart. I will never get rid of these. I will probably only add more to them as the time goes by. But if you can get the Speedy now for a good deal, grab it because these again have only gone up in popularity. I think that I'm seeing a lot of them now like over 2K. I only paid 14 for mine. But other bags that I think 
think could be kind of like a return sleeper hit for the multicolor collection. Check out Courtney over here. This is the Courtney MM. I like this one because unlike my Speedy, it can go on the shoulder or crossbody. Those bigger, flatter handles are going to be much more comfortable because listen, the, the handles on a multicolor Speedy are much thicker than like a regular canvas Speedy. So after a while, she gets heavy. She really does. So with the Courtney, I, I see a lot of different trends here at play. We're going to have all over print. We're going to have the studs for embellishment. We're going to have that kind of east-west and you're going to have the wearability of the shoulder slash crossbody strap. This one is in really good condition, priced right now at only $14.25, which for multicolor, that's a pretty good deal, especially in this condition. Her vaquetta is still light. There's not a lot of damage to the vaquetta anywhere that I can see. This next one is the Rita, which I've always loved the Rita. It's very similar to the shape of the Epi Denura, which I think was more of like a yoga bag, if you will. And this one has like that big pocket on the front that's kind of shaped like a bigger Marilyn, which is absolutely fabulous. Again, you've got the shoulder strap with some chain on there. So again, you're falling into embellishment. East, West, all over print. This Rita is absolutely stunning and she's only $11.95. Guys, these are only gonna be like 2000 plus here in a few months. So snap these up while you can. Now this last one I'm gonna throw at you is the Petite Noe. Got a few different trends again going on with this one. You've got all over print. You've got the bucket bag, which was huge for 2024. We're gonna see again, much like red, that'll spill over into 2025. And with the pockets on both ends, you're kind of into that whole cargo trend play going on. So again, really good buy. Again, really great shape. I love the color layout on this one. You've got a lot of blues, gold, chartreuse, and pink. Because listen, when buying multicolor, there's good multicolor layouts and then there's iffy multicolor layouts. So this one is in the good sector, I would say. I love the way that the colors are balanced on there. Light, bright, perfect for spring, summer 2025. Again, these are just going to keep going up in price and popularity, especially as they announce the Murakami collection coming. Now, lastly, let's talk about the suede trend, because again, much like 2024, we're still going to be looking for luxe materials for spring, summer 2025. And all those suede, is she really a great material for summer? If you get like a lighter suede, sure, it's not that bad, much like the Celine Boogie I just showed you. Again, all links are down below. But this one, now listen, Chloe was huge. In, in the early 2000s, but you couldn't walk a mile in the city without seeing a Chloe on somebody's shoulder. Now, the Chloe bag that I've selected for you, this is the Chloe Parity? Parati? I don't, I don't know how to say it. Correct me in the comments, I guess. This one, guys, I think is absolutely fabulous. So it's going to be great for several different reasons. It's suede. It's a good neutral. This is going to be something you can wear year round, especially into fall, fall, winter. So this is going to be a good bag for the entirety of the year. I like its architectural elements. We're gonna be moving away from like the more minimalist aesthetic that we've seen for the last year or two and into more like architecturally interesting bags, embellishment. And with this, that does not disappoint in that department. Now this one has a few different materials on it. You have that nice rich suede, which reminds me of my suede Zoe back here up at the top. And then you have that gorgeous kind of gold link chain holding the handles. You've got the addition of the crossbody strap, which looks like it's rounded and then flattens out in the center for easier wear and use. Overall, absolutely stunning bag. Currently. A 535. And at the time of filming this, this also has an additional code off for 20% with the code real. Now, when it comes to Chloe, I think this is going to be a brand that we're going to be talking about a lot more. Listen, we've kind of been sleeping on Chloe the last few years. I think what their last big hit was the Woody Tote a few years ago. Spring, summer 2025 for Chloe was an amazing runway, one of the best in my opinion. So we're going to be talking about Chloe a lot more. And in doing so, that's just going to be raising the prices on these older bags. So check out ones like the Parody or even the Paddington, I think would be making a big comeback here soon, especially with Y2K. East West Energy embellishment, the, the Paddington would be a, a really good investment right now. So I'll find a handful of cute Paddingtons as well and link them down below so that way you've got easy access. But this next bag, you guys, I am tempted to buy it for myself. It's at a really good price, just north of $1,000 at 1075. And you all know I already love this bag. The Peekaboo. Now, when it comes to Fendi, the Peekaboo, this is their, their, the Peak de Resistance. This is their, their pinnacle bag, the Fendi Peekaboo. Now, this one's going to be following a few different trends. It's a gorgeous shade of kind of almost a tealy bluish green. You have all the cargo compartments there on the front and you have the suede. And being that it's a little bit more of the medium size, it almost falls into East West, whereas my large ones just look like a large shopper. So large peekaboos going to be making a comeback next year. I think this one's absolutely fabulous. Again, priced at $10.75. It's suede. It's Fendi. It's gorgeous. It's cargo. What more do you want? Come on. Oh, and did I mention it's green? Green's going to be huge for 2025. All right, guys. So we've just successfully covered like what? 15, 17 different bags. It bags of yesterday 
for tomorrow's trends. I am super excited for some of these to have a big comeback, like the Givenchy Saka, like hello, she's stunning, she's gorgeous. She was gold, large and in charge, just absolutely fabulous. Now mark my words, we're going to be seeing a huge resurgence in Marc Jacobs era LV, especially those Murakami bags like Multicolor, the Fringe, those are going to be hot. We're going to be seeing luxe materials and over embellishment, much like the Mahina and the Suhali bags. I am really excited to see what the pre-owned market does here over the next year or so. Let me know down in the comments, do you think I hit it on the head with some of these bags having a comeback, if you will, for, for pre-owned IT bags? That was a ton of fun. Let me know down in the comments again what your predictions are for IT bags that are going to be making a comeback. And until next time, guys, stay safe, have fun. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.